Can you hear that? Yep. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna use the foundation primer oil free from Laura Mercier and just apply it to my T-zone area. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Superstay by Maybelline New York Better Skin Foundation, just because this is the darkest one that I own. And I'm pretty tanned right now because I used the um, Saint Tropez Dark Mousse and, oh my, and I slept in it all night. So big oh my and I'm just going to blend it in with a beauty blender because I don't want it to be too harsh and I feel like beauty blenders are there to make your face not look like it's got like loads of product and I just love the effect of a beauty blender it just is seamless so that is what I'm after can you hear my watch that's good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to fill in my brows. When I do my brows, it's taken me so long to get to a stage where I know how I like them to be. So this is just the Soap and Glory Archery in Hot Chocolate because my Anastasia Beverly Hills ran out. Why is it when you're on camera? It's like a menstruation. So, I follow the line underneath first and extend slightly whoops, on the outer edge. Then I will do my mini hairs lightly. Then I don't go from the top here all the way across. I will take it from where my real hairs start and begin overdrawing the upper part of my brow to make me look like I've got larger brows. Are we seeing what's happening here? Mm -hmm. Okay, one. Done. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on the other. But this one is like completely differently shaped. So I have to do a lot of work under here because like, they just don't grow there. Then I'm going to follow it round. And do my bit there. Upper. This one's a bit thicker and easier to do. I don't have to overdraw it too much on the top. going to take this concealer here with a small flat shader brush. I'm literally just going to take a bit off the edge of the sponge and I don't usually do this but I'm going to draw and clean up under my brow. That's attractive. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with the Lorac Mega Pro. It's just a larger shader brush. I'm going to mix cream and white and just use them as a brow bone highlight. And also, this will set that concealer we've just put on. on a E40 uh, tapered blending brush from Sigma. I'm just going to take Fawn into the crease. I haven't used an eye primer because I put loads of foundation on there. I'm going to be working from this uh, Makeup Revolution palette 
is the Ultra Shadows, Ultra Professional Flawless Matte. So I presume that's what the shades are. So I'm just going to take a angled blending brush like this. It's just a cheapy one, nothing special. And I'm going to start working on the browns. So what am I going to take? I think I'm going to start with this richy kind of shade here, which is just going to accent that fawn colour that we just put on and make it look a lot better. So I'm kind of taking it up into the temple area and into the inner eye here. Next, which is just a Coastal Sense blending brush and I'm going to start working with um, this colour here which doesn't look as dark on camera, but it is. Okay, you wanna tap it off and make sure you haven't got too much product on. Let's get comfy. And I'm just gonna really lightly start focusing this into the crease area. I'm dragging it, I'm not going all the way into my inner corner. I'm just dragging it like three quarters of the way, whatever's left on the brush. I'm not going to take product and go straight in there with the fresh on the brush. I'm just starting out here and dragging in. Because I don't want it really harsh in there. I want all the focus to be out here. And then again, I'm just going to blend this out here. And the same on the other eye, which I will just fast forward through. Okay, once you're happy that that's completely blended, you can start thinking about your lid colour. So I don't want to keep it all dark, I want a little bit of light on the lid. So onto a large E60 shader brush from Sigma. I'm just going to go in there with one of the lightest shades, actually the lightest shade of the palette, and just tap it onto the lid. I'm just going to take a small pencil brush from Sigma, it's just the pencil E30. I'm just going to take some black, tap it off, you don't want too much on there, and I'm going to really, really carefully carve out my crease, but I'm not going all the way in. Really gently. See how it's staying sharp but it's being blended at the same time and that is due to the angles of the brush that I'm using. So if you go up quite high and put it straight in you're going to get quite a sharp line. If you come down and start using the side of the brush as well or go up like this and start using the top end side of the brush as well then it's going to start to blend out really nicely for you. I'm just going to grab it a little bit more for the outer bit extend out here. Can you see what I've done? Okay, the other eye.
I'm just going to line my eyes with some of the MAC Black Brilliance Fluid Eye Pencil Crayon. Oh, that really tickled. Ugh, that one. Curl your lashes. Only slightly because we are applying four C's. Four C's? Falsies? Falsies. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. On a clean pencil brush, I'm going to go back into that Makeup Revolution palette. And we're just going to take the colour with the darkest brown we're using in our crease and just gently blend onto the bottom lash line. I should have done this after concealer. So we're gonna have to retouch that up in a minute again, like I did in the last video. So I'm going to use the Naked Skin by Urban Decay, and this one's in Fair Neutral, which is super light, so I'm just using a touch. Do you know what I like about this one? You know, sometimes you really have to like double dip. Um, you don't with this one. On the spoolie, when it comes out, there is enough on the spoolie to do everywhere you want. And this is not even as much as I'd usually put on. Just using my beauty blender again. Swapping hands because I can't stand the noise of my watch. Shadow. I haven't really ruined everything. In a corner highlight, um, I just want a light colour, so I'm going to go back to the Lorac Mega Pro palette and take the white from that. To set my concealer, I'm going to use the oldie but the goodie, which is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in light. And keep everything really nice and highlighted. Like I hate when you do it and then you put like a neutral powder on. Like I find a lot of these translucent powders just don't do what they say on my tin. That's annoying. So I'm going to take the Kat Von T palette and these two shades here, blend them together, which are Subconscious and Shadow Play. I'm going to carve out my cheekbones like you do. I want quite a warm cheek to go with this look, so I'm going to go quite heavy. Onto the temples. I always do that, I always do like that. Under my double chin, because I like chocolate. I just need a smaller brush. Oh, I'll take this one. I don't really like this one. Um, this is the Real Techniques 301, which I don't ever use because I don't like it, but I've got nothing else here. Just to contour down my nose. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm going to use Sweet as Cocoa by MAC. It does have a slight shimmer in it, but I want something really warm. And I want to use something different that I haven't used before, so why the fudge not? Yes. A bottom lash mascara. Just using the same <coughs> one again. So for 
lashes or do lips last, I'm going to use the, what are these? The 101. Not as close to the lash line as I'd like. That is not ideal. At least they're going up. Right, I'm just going to take some mascara and blend them together the best I can. For my lips, I am going to take Strip Down from MAC. my lipstick I'm going to take stone Okay, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So anyway, I love this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please thumbs up um, because it really helps out. It spreads the word and everything. And please subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.